Wellness for Life is brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, and Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership. Hi, this is Karen Lenius from Mojave Atwell Community Action Agency. I'm Senior Programs Director and we have been on periodically to talk about wellness in the whole scope of wellness um, as people think about many different aspects of being well. And one thing that we have determined this past year is that there is a very distinct connection between housing stability, in particular for the senior population, between housing stability and their overall wellness. Uh, that has to do with physical, mental, emotional, social. Um, anyway, stable housing is a direct and absolute need for all residents, but in particular, as the focus of our grant is on senior residents. I want to introduce to you today, this is Jim McKinstra. He's actually our Senior Programs Housing Case Manager. And I'm hoping that Jim and I can have a little conversation about what we've seen from seniors, maybe some, maybe some of the things that cause senior homelessness, and just remember for the audience out there, if they have people who are 55 and older and struggling with housing, that they consider Mojave Atwa to be a resource for them. Thank you, Karen. Uh, my name is Jim McKinster, and I am the Senior Homeless Program Case Manager for Mojave Atwa. In 2016, our agency received a grant called a Live Well at Home grant, and that is specifically to identify and target seniors that are homeless or at risk of homelessness or in some kind of housing instability within the areas that we serve. So that would be Becker County, Hubbard County, Monoman County, Ottertail County, and Wadena County. And Mojave Atwa has had for over 25 years a pretty uh, strong and successful housing program across a broad range of scope of housing services and we've been able to kind of quickly and rapidly assist seniors that are in some kind of housing crisis um, from the basics of doing helping them with the housing search filling out applications for renting an apartments um, assisting with um, paying a background fee or an application fee um, if they, once they get accepted into an apartment, we can assist with the security deposit or getting utilities hooked up into their name. Uh, we're trying to look at trying to get seniors into affordable housing, so we're looking at primarily assisting them into units that would be subsidized units for seniors. Um, on a limited basis, we can do some ongoing rental assistance if they're not in a subsidized unit at this point um, but that is a pretty limited where we would um, pay 50 percent of their rent and the senior would pay the other 50 percent of their rent um, for a few months and then kind of reassess it um, we also can do uh, referrals to um, thrift stores um, helping them acquire furniture kitchen supplies, blankets, sheets, towels, all those things. Um, help them, you know, do referrals for things like getting set up with Meals on Wheels, home health care, any like bathroom safety equipment that they might need for their apartment. Um, if they need like a walker or a cane, things like that. Um, you know, and with, for those depending on the need of the client too i'm able to go in and do like a monthly home visit and continue to monitor their progress and meet with them um, we can meet with people um, in a nursing home um, in assisted living uh, if they're doubled up temporarily staying with a family member or friend and that situation isn't really working out too well for them you know, we can meet with them there and help them find their own place. Uh, and it's been amazing to see that the, um, the overall population is aging and a lot of people are aging into homelessness. 
um, and in Minnesota, the, the fastest growing age group of those that are experiencing homelessness are those that are 55 and over. It's still small compared to the overall population, but in terms of the percentage of increase, it's a really rapidly growing problem. And just in six months, seven months that we've been doing this program, we have met individuals that are living in vehicles, living in abandoned buildings, living in campers, um, uh, living in homeless shelters in the region or domestic violence shelters, things like that. So it is a it is a huge problem, and we're you know we're fortunate to be able to receive the funding from the Board on Aging to provide these services. And and again, we just want you. To, to remind the population out there, if you are experiencing housing instability and you are 55 years of age or older, please call any one of our Mahabiatwa offices. As Jim said, we have offices Park Rapids, Monoman, Wadena, Fergus Falls, and Detroit Lakes, and ask for a, a senior homeless referral. We can help. Again, as Jim also mentioned, a big flexibility in the ways that we can help client needs. So, thank you. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. Brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, and Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership.